If you didn't know already, Keltner channels can be used for mean reversion and trend following strategies. In this video, we will trade cryptos using Keltner channel trend following mode. everyone and thank you for joining me my name is Ali Casey and you are watching Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance investing algorithmic trading and everything else in between if you are new to this channel welcome aboard make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that I post on this channel so Keltner channel is an ATR uh, multiplier above and below a simple moving average or exponential moving average so in this case the yellow line is the exponential moving average so this is a 20 day uh, moving average and we are using the ATR one and a half uh, ATR above and one and a half ATR below the uh, exponential moving average and the ATR is based on 20 bars so the point of ATR is basically it will expand and contract a little bit uh, with the volatility so when the ATR expands then the of course the channels expands and when the ATR contracts then of course the channel will contract so I did a video using the Keltner channels as a mere reversion strategy on ES of course the ES is a mere reversion instrument and today we're using cryptos and again there is a bias in crypto for the upside for breakout so today we will use Kelton channel as a breakout model, basically trend following model. So the strategy we will build is extremely easy. Basically, we are looking when the channel is moving up. So that means we are in an uptrend. And then we will look when the price closes above the upper channel. When the channel is moving up, we will go long. And we will exit when the price closes below the middle line, which is the EMA. And then we can see we have another signal here. So the channel is moving up. And this is the breakout. We exit here. And here is the same thing. Channel is moving up. The close is here. And then we exit right around here. So in strategy context, I already built the model. So we are using TradeStation. And I am using Ethereum. Of course, we only have a lot of data for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Everything else is basically less than two years uh, at best some of them like solana i only have one year of data and i am using the one hour time and we are building from 2016 till 2018 money management we are using crypto size by price meaning i'm using ten thousand uh, dollar for every single trade basically whatever the ten thousand dollar can buy me i will buy the first two statements here is the channel is rising keltner channel upper that means the upper channel is rising and this one the lower channel is rising this keltner channel is 20 periods with one and a half atr so this is the multiplier for the atr and then the bar closes above the keltner channel so when the bar closes above the Keltner channel then we will go long now I added these booleans true and false so in this case the false uh, so there is no short it's gonna happen and here is the exit we exit when the close is below the EMA of uh, 20 period so let's run a full back test and uh, again we know this is gonna be good because there is a bias for crypto to the upside but that is totally fine just like you know there is a bias for mean reversion strategies in the indexes mainly in the ES we know there is a bias a long breakout bias for cryptos at least for the time being but remember we are filtering the trend is up so it's not like we're going to take every breakout so when crypto goes in bear market we will not see these signals because the channel most likely will be on the downside and now we will try the short side so we put this false and this is true same condition exactly but now we're looking for the channel to be falling and the price to break the lower band and then we will exit when the close is above the ema the uh, strategy doesn't perform well on the downside so now i added the adx filter and since the adx is a good filter for trend following it might uh, be valuable so let's test the strategy 
I mean, it's okay. It's a little bit better. It's not great. <laughs> so, uh, and again, this is because of the bias in crypto for the upside. Yes, we do have bear markets, but usually they are very violent. They are very quick and very volatile. So uh, this uh, breakout method will not work on it, or it has to be really fast to catch the fast move on the downside and exit. So probably a profit target uh, will work there. But anyway, in this case, I'll just skip <laughs> the downside and let's focus on the long side breakout method. Okay, so we are back to the long side. We have 252 trades, and this is really good because the data we have is only uh, about less than two years actually so very good number of trades and then we can see trade analysis and monday is huge winner and look at this same number of trades per weekday but monday is way way out of so i don't know if this is one trade that is profitable or all the average trade on monday is profitable of course we can test that and we can see uh, the average trade on monday but we, we don't need to do that since we will be trading all days. Open drawdown is 20, almost 21%. Exposure is uh, very low. That's uh, really good. And average trade is also really good. Now, I want to show you that this will work actually on all time frames. So H2, 4. And of course, the higher you go, the less trades and the less noise you will see so look we for h12 we went to 21 trades uh, but now look at the stats so open drawdown is 12 percent but now our average trade is like uh, 1600 plus exposure is a little bit more it's almost double but we definitely more than doubled the average trade so and this will apply in general the and that's why i always advise to start with daily time frame because usually the higher time frame you go less noise but of course you sacrifice the number of trades which you can substitute with trading more instruments using the same strategy so this is bitcoin on one hour and of course i have more data for bitcoin and we know it's working so this is the bull market 2017 bear market for a year and a half and then we make a new high another year of doing nothing and then boom we make a new high and let's see the 12 hours again it's the same trajectory uh, but now look we're making uh, this uh, stagnation that happened after 2017 disappear so here in 2018 we make a new high new high 2019 new high new high less trades and less noise and higher average trade so now you see big stagnation for ethereum after 2017 but look at this if we go 12 hours because we will get rid of a lot of trades and a lot of noise so the stagnation is also less this is solana on one hour and i love this coin <laughs> i think this project is huge it's gonna be very successful and of course solana we have data only starting this year now of course the strategy will not work on all coins and definitely you can enhance it with a profit target stop loss as a basic strategy it does its job well which is identifying the trend and then riding that trend when the close go above the uh, upper channel of course if you have any questions any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you i do read and answer all comments also if you want to take this further and be a part of my inner circle you are more than welcome to join the discord server through the link below and don't forget to keep an eye on the community tab of this channel as i will be posting uh, questions polls to make this channel better for you. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.